Okay, this is part two. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the uh, wing nut slash screws that holds the screen assembly on. Then I'm gonna remove the screws around the uh, around the uh, woodwork where I could uh, get into the uh, internal part of it and see if I can uh, get that motor to work where it uh, operates the mirror. So here it goes. It's probably going to look like it's magically stripping itself because I'm going to pause and record as I take parts off. Alright, here it goes. Well, it didn't take me long to find the limited switch, or the limit switch. That's it right there. Oh yeah, it's not even connected. Is that contact, yep. Yeah, it's a switch, alright. see if any of these years are stripped so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these screws and see how it looks inside this cover. Well, the gears seem to be in good shape. And you see that that brass uh, those two brass wheels that pretty much the switch and uh, these terminals right on top of it, right up here. I also noticed that there's a wire on top as well. So I guess when it gets to a certain point it shuts off. But so far so good. I don't see any any anything stripped or anything inside of here. Looks like this little plastic track you know, is what feeds the mirror out. It looked like they had screws in here at one time. It looked like they kind of worked them worked themselves out from what it looks like. Let me just see something real quick. Just want to move them out a little bit. Yeah. Here's one side, so I'm going to remove the cover on the other side and see how the other side looks. And here's the other side. Just like I was... Just like I mentioned in the last video, you know, they have a drive shaft that, uh, drives this other gearbox. So I'm going to go ahead and open this cover up and see how the gears look inside of this one. And we got some good news on this end too. The gears on this end is also in good shape. I'll just open the mirror a little bit by hand. Yep, turns. Yeah. 
Those turn. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm thinking that the screws that held that switch down probably worked out themselves out because, you know, it looks like those holes are threaded and two screws hold that plate on, but uh, the um, screws are no longer holding it on, so I gotta see if the screws are laying around inside the bottom of this, uh, of this unit. And if they are, good. If not, then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to um, find some some really short ones or I'm gonna have to fabricate something to make something work but I'm gonna go ahead and put these two uh, covers back on these gearboxes because these are okay and that little plastic track is alright as well so I'm gonna go ahead and put the two covers back on and try to find a way to put that switch on and then put power to it and see if the mirror comes out on its own all right. <clears throat> so one thing I gotta give credit to made in China with pride products is that the uh, product may not be worth the shit but sometimes you can find just the right screws you need so I think the only thing that's really worth anything out of the out of today's new shit is the screws that are on it and they'll fit right in there which should be nice Oh, that's beautiful. Fits perfectly. Let's check underneath. And the contactors are touching the uh, brass wheel in there. So here's the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and push the power button and see what happens. So. I'm going to be witness, witnessing this the first time, just like you guys who are viewing this is going to be witnessing it. So let's put power to it and see what happens. Here we go. Okay. What I was expecting to happen never happened. So let's check some other things. Maybe if I. Oh, that wouldn't do it either. Let me check to make sure that motor switch is on. Well, I found another problem. This blue wire right here. This is one of the leads that goes to the motor. And it looks like it somehow broke off from this point. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this wire and try turning it on again and see if it works this time. Okay. Okay, I got that wire attached. Now, let's try it again. I don't get it. Really? Okay. Guess I'll keep digging deeper and see if I can find anything more because apparently I found two obvious reasons why it couldn't work and I hooked them both up and nothing. Alright. The search continues. Alright, this time I cleaned the uh, terminals off and um, strengthen them where they can actually touch the um, 
the brass rotor in there, you know, really good, you know, without it, you know, missing or anything. And I uh, made sure that the uh, wheel was clean. So let's try it again. Damn! Why do I have this feeling that I'm hearing the fail horns from the Price is Right every time I push that power button? Ah, fuck. Uh, well, I gotta keep looking again. Apparently somebody else has been uh, digging in this thing before I have because I noticed that they had a lot of missing screws you know holding the front part on so I don't know if somebody tried to correct this same problem before or not but judging by the way how they misplaced their screws apparently in my opinion they didn't know what the fuck they were doing but it looks like I not what I was searching for. So let's check and see if they're good. I let my camera charge for a little while, so I wanted to take these lenses off for the CRTs to check them out and see how they are. And so far, all three of them look great. No burn ins or anything. However, there is a fuse right here that's blown and unfortunately it's not one of those fuses that you could just change this soldered in there so you gotta unsolder them in order to replace it so what I did is I bridged it and I, and I saw a lot of humming coming from the motor you know it was making buzzing sounds so while the channel was charging I went ahead and took the motor off to check inside and see how the brushes look and the brushes look really good but I did find this inside the motor I found this little BB don't know where the hell it came from but somehow it was inside the motor so what I'm thinking and I hope that this is probably the problem that between the permanent magnet and the uh, rotor it kind of locked up in there and caused that fuse to blow because the windings on the uh, on a rotor are not burned at all I don't see any burn marks or anything on the brushes or anything like that so I'm hoping that you know this one little BB did, did this mess so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this motor back on on the gearbox and bridge this and see if this motor turns on obviously I can't turn on like this because that's part of the barren so it won't be centered so I gotta put the motor back together in order to test it so let me go ahead and do that real quick alright now that the motor's put back on let's try it again Still buzzing. Hmm. Mm -mm. What the fuck could be wrong with this damn thing? So far, what I learned is that it's not the obvious. It's not the obvious switch that was missing, but then again, from what I found out, apparently somebody else has been in here, and they probably cut that wire down there and took that switch off. So, 
I was thinking that this would be an easy fix, but no, uh, uh it's got to be something else. So apparently this motor is DC. So apparently whatever crosses from AC to DC on here is what's bad. I just got to find out where it's at. So I guess that this is going to be the end of this video for now. Because I'm kind of like in a standstill. Anybody has any questions or any uh, helpful tips to check or whatever the case may be, please leave a comment because, you know, I am really baffled here. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it for this video.